I grew up in a, in a, the biggest city in Nebraska, Omaha. People were very nervous about anybody who got polio. Automatically, that house and even the whole neighborhood would be pretty much off limits, stay out of it. My mother uh, said something about, gee, you sure look red. Did you play a lot? And I said, I didn't play at all. And she came over and put her hand on my head. And she said, you may have a fever. She said, I'll give you an aspirin or two, and you go on in and get to bed. Then in the morning, my dad came in and grabbed my arm, my right arm, and said, come on, we got to go out and eat breakfast. And where I usually sat, things were passed to me on the left. And he passed something, I think it was just a little plate of toast on the left, and I, that was it. It just didn't work. It wouldn't lift. And he looked at it and he said, what's wrong? And I said, I don't know, I can't move that arm. So uh, he called town physician. And he had evidently somewhere along the way seen a case of polio because he looked and checked everything over and he said, oh, your throat's red like you got a virus. He said, but I'm afraid you got polio. I think the big one is that people don't know enough about polio to know enough about post-polio. And when you tell them, well, it's my polio coming back, they say, well, I never heard of anything like that. And I say, well, you probably haven't. There's, most of the polios are getting older. And thank God, at least in this country with Salk and the vaccine, and Sabin, uh, we've been able to kick it out. The only thing I can see right now that will help musculoneurological disorders is stem cells. Even your own, st no, I'm not talking about embryos, I'm talking about my cells. The misconceptions about stem cells have held back so much that could have been done by now and has been done in some places. That's the answer. The answer as I see it is we have to replace the damaged anterior horn cells in the spinal cord and uh, neurons that are damaged. And a stem cell can make a heck of a difference.